Now let's turn to the latest on last month's poisoning of a Russian ex-spy in the UK. As Western nations continue to point the finger aggressively at Russia, Moscow has called for an open meeting of the UN Security Council on Thursday local time to discuss the matter in full. Noah Ram reports. Russia's UN ambassador Vasily Nebenzia called for the meeting after a speech on Wednesday to a council meeting on chemical weapons in Syria. He reportedly wrote to the UNSC president saying Russia shares the principle that the use of chemical weapons anywhere, quote, is not acceptable and must be investigated. Russia has been pressured to admit being involved in the poisoning of Sergei Skripal and his daughter last month, but Moscow has denied the widespread allegations which have been sparked by Britain. The British research lab Porton Down on Tuesday said the nerve agent used was military-grade Novichok, but added that it cannot prove if it is of Russian origin. Meanwhile, during a meeting of the International Chemical Weapons Watchdog at The Hague on Wednesday, Russia's proposal to be part of the investigation into the attack was voted down by 15 to 6, with 17 abstentions. Despite the rejection, Russia's envoy to the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons said the number of countries that abstained from the vote showed widespread uneasiness with Britain. A series of mishaps by the UK has given Russia a diplomatic advantage, and Moscow is jumping on the opportunity by calling a series of global meetings to make its case. British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson claimed in a recent interview that Porton Down told him that Russia was to blame for the Salisbury attack. The UK's Foreign Office also admitted to deleting a tweet which made similar claims. This has raised questions as to whether Britain may have overstated its case in accusing Russia. Nuaram, Arirang News.